<clears throat> Welcome to Don Alfin on fishing. Today is going to be a, a, a great day. I've just decided a lot of people have been still struggling with with uh, how I jig for kokanee, and and uh, and I uh, felt like it, it would be best to to once again talk about what I do in August because that might change in April or March or or May. In fact, I'm sure it'll change. But um, but uh, I've been been for the last month throwing this chartreuse uh, coconator with corn on the uh, the treble hooks and um, and and basically for so so for today all I'm going to do is be showing you exactly how I jig exactly how I go down to the schools exactly what I do to catch fish and then I'm just going to show you a bunch of uh, hook sets now I have to have a disclaimer here uh, you're going to see well over um, three fish uh, being uh, caught and put in the boat but I need to let you know that this that this was filmed over three days so you'll you'll see nine uh, kokanee in the boat and uh, and that is a limit for three specific and contiguous days so lest you think that I'm taking more fish than I should be taking those are my limits and we my wife and I eat fish a lot and um, and so we uh, we are um, well within the bounds and I would never try to break the law. So hey enjoy today's episode and um, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and hope we can show you some very nice hook sets and, and nice uh, kokanee in the boat. Thanks for watching. There we go. There's a good good fish. Don't know what it is. First one of the morning. You always have to wonder if you've got a coke or if you've got a lake trout or even a big rainbow. You just never know on the first fish. Seems like a coke, and it is. It's a nice coke. Very good. Good start to the day. Yep. Perfect. Well, that was just uh, clockwork, just exactly like we, we know happened. So I dropped all the way down to those fish at 70 to 80 feet, but as soon as I got down there, a school came, came in at, at 45 to 55, which is where the biters have been. And uh, so I just pulled right up to the top of that little school. And we'll just see if we've got some active fish in that school. That's why I love this so much. It's so fun to be able to follow the schools up and down the column with your lure. You know, you see something come through at 80 feet, drop to it. If you see something come through at 45 feet, drop to it. And, uh, and, and just literally try to get at that top edge of the school first, and then if you need to, you can drop down into the school. But I always like to, to fish the edges of the school and not the middle of the real thickest part. So, but uh, in a given hour, I might, uh, I might drop to 40, 50 schools. Now, some of them might be the same schools uh, circling back or something like that, but, but I want to believe that there's enough fish in here that that's what's going on is that they're just moving through. And other schools are kind of chasing the tails of the schools in front of them. But uh, regardless, I am constantly moving my lure up and down, up and down uh, in that water column to where I can match what I'm seeing on the screen as far as depth and thickness of the school and everything else. But my, but if you can see my jig, my jigging is just basically the same. I'm going to be very erratic, kind of make that lure dance when it's when it gets down there. And then, and then I'm going to uh, lift up about two to three feet and drop down on a slack line. And I'll be frank with you, one of the things today that I've learned, um, or not learned, but, but uh, you know, have seen happen many, many times, which means that I know it's a, it's a specific way of, of biting. Um, if I, actually to, 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 to identify the species, 
if I'm not getting a bite and I've got a pretty good school of fish and I reel up really fast for about, oh, I don't know, 10 yards, 10 or 10 feet, I mean, and then stop it. And the second that I stop it, uh, open up my bale and let it come back down just a bit, the, the many times if I'm in lake trout, my lure will just absolutely stop. And then I have to, I reel up and can set the hook on a, on a nice lake trout. So, so it's amazing how kokanee generally don't do that. Sometimes I've had them do it, but, but that's an indication, indication for me of what fish I'm fishing. If I, can, if I haven't been getting a bite and then I lift it up really, really quickly, or reel up really quickly about 10 feet, and then let it go back down. And as I let it go back down, if that lure just stops, it's generally not a kokanee, but a lake trout. In 28 feet of water, and I don't know whether you can see, but right there at about 55 to 65 feet are where the kokanee are. It's 8.27 in the morning, and uh, it's really been fun to be fishing this deep. Obviously, the bottom doesn't mean much. It's where the kokanee are. But still, it's a little bit harder to see them right in the middle of the water column and, and jig them up. But uh, they're getting ready to bite. see what we've got here. Feels like a pretty heavy fish. Could be a nice laker or it could be a, a kokanee. It looks like a coke from here, the way it's circling. But you never know. Yep, yep, yep. Beautiful coke. Wow. That's a dandy. Oh my gosh, is that a dandy. Oh my goodness. Look at that kokanee. Wow, look at that hook jaw, still in great shape. That is one fine kokanee, and that's 22 inches, 22 inch coke. Wow, Let's see, there's another one down. Once again, it was down uh, 65 feet. Boy, this feels like another really nice fish. Very nice coke. Oh, look at that fish. Yep. Another good one. Not quite as big as the last one, but then none of them were quite as big as the last one. So that's just a wonderful, wonderful coke. Feels like a good fish. Oh yeah, that's a dandy. That's a fine, fine, fine kokanee right there. About as big as a guy can catch. That's a 21 inch fish. Wow. Feels like a Coke, I don't know. Yeah, it is, it's a nice Coke, big one. There you go. That's another good one. Excellent, excellent. Starting to turn. It's still in really, really good condition. During the little intro, I, I actually had uh, a bite that I didn't react to because I was talking. So I immediately uh, re-rigged and, and I'm just going to drop down to the top of this school. And I just want to show you, once again, exactly what my method is for um, jigging kokanee in August. 
and uh, and it changes. Uh, like I say, you know, I like uh, different lures in the springtime and different colors of of uh, coconators and in this in the early summer. So once I get down to a to a spot that that normally is the top of the school, you can look down there and hopefully see the school, and you should be able to see my diagonal line coming down. All I'm going to do is make that lure dance by 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 shaking that rod tip, okay? And then about every five to ten seconds, I'll go ahead and lift that up and 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 let it uh, go down on a slack line, and then pick it up again. And and uh, then I just repeat that process, lowering and raising my uh, lure with the reel depending on um, what the school does that I'm watching on the finder, okay? So this is, it's a really simple thing. I'm going to make it dance, and then every five to ten seconds, I'm going to go ahead and lift it up two to three feet. And then go right back down. And I try to expect any bite that I'm going to get right as that lure is dropping on a slack. All right, here's another one. See what we've got down here. You know, it's, it's acted like a kokanee, but, and it is. Nice kokanee. That's a good one. That is a dandy. They are strong, strong fish. What we have to do is we have to pop his mouth open. He clamp, when they clamp down, they clamp down. But as soon as you get their mouth open, then you can easily get the hook out. There you go. Well, that was better. Now we'll see what this one is. Oh, coming up to the top really fast. Oh, man. It's a little coke. There we go. I had a feeling there were some kokanee back here this morning. Feels like a pretty good fish. We'll see what happens. Yeah, that's a good coke. <clears throat> see how their jaws are holding up. I've lost a lot of fish. See, I was about to lose that one. So jaws are getting a little bit weaker. So that's probably why I've missed a few this morning. Well, we've got a good bunch of fish down there. Right now at uh, about uh, 55 feet again. So they look like they're a little bit smaller, but oh, there was one. I don't know how big that is. Feels nice. It's like a decent fish is coming up to the surface quite quickly. There it is. Yeah, it's one of those smaller ones. That's good. Thanks for watching Don Alphen on fishing today. You know, it's been a great day. We, um, I, I, I have, um, I'm just showing you three days of kokanee catches, jigging the exact same way with that uh, chartreuse coconator uh, with various uh, colors of corn. Um, on it and uh, and I'm working water anywhere from 30 feet down to 80 feet but most of the fish that you're gonna see uh, on film today were caught between 45 and 70 feet with an average of about 58 to, to 60 feet so um, uh, I, I, I've showed you I've, I've shown you and I'm and I'm trying to explain uh, in several of the clips 
uh, exactly what I'm doing. I'm making that lure dance, then I'm lifting it up about two to three feet and then letting it drop on a slack line, and I'm anticipating the bites on the slack line mostly. Anyway, hope you enjoyed today's show. Um, looks like it would be the end of uh, Kokanee filming for a couple of three months. So we'll switch to rainbows and to smallmouth bass and to, and to lake trout going forward. Um, and, and of course, I'll get to strawberry and do a, a whole lot of stuff with jerk baits and, and possibly even some spoons there at strawberry. So thanks again for watching. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And please tell your friends about it. And, uh, and uh, we'll catch you soon. Thanks again for watching.